Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Today's video, we're talking about moving with our pets across the country, part two. So the very first video I made in this series was a little early. Um, it took, it's been like eight months <laughs> since we signed the contract to build our house. We are moving from California to Texas. A lot has gone on. We have a closing date. And so things are getting really, really real. And uh, yeah, so, Here's what I have done, here's what we're going to be doing, here is the plan. And I hope some of the tips in this video will help you plan as well, especially if you're moving with pets, which is what this video is about, right? So whether that's dogs or cats or both, we have both. Um, so we have four cats and a dog that we are gonna be driving across country with. Now, it's going to be, I wanna, like it's over 1200 miles for us, so we're going to be stopping and staying in hotels each night along the way. Here's the first thing I'm doing. I am planning, I am a planner, and, and if you are not a planner, this is the best time to become a planner, okay? Because we don't wanna do all of this last minute, especially for our pets, and like Uber especially for our cats, okay? Cats thrive on routine and consistency. Dogs do too, but cats really have, like they, they can physically get ill um, when things change too much, too abruptly, too quickly, especially if things change and they they feel it's a negative change. Um, so riding in a car for three days straight is not going to be um, something that my cats are gonna love. So here's what I'm doing to prepare. So the very first thing I'm doing is I'm figuring out which supplements are going to help them the best. So I'm already trying out different supplements like um, Animalio's Calomile, which I love and I probably will be diffusing in the car. I have a car diffuser. Um, I'm not going to diffuse it the entire time. I'm going to let it like diffuse for like just seconds at a time. So it, it, and only let it diffuse like for very short periods at a time so as to not to overwhelm the air in the car. Uh, but Calomile from Animalio is one thing that I already know my cats are good with and we will be using. Another supplement that I am looking into and starting my cats on to make sure um, I'm getting the desired effect is the Box Rescue Remedy. Anything I talk about in this video, I will link in the description below, by the way, so that you can get your hands on it as well. I'm also not going to be putting them in their regular carriers because that's just gonna be too restrictive for having to be in the car for such long periods of time. What I'm doing, and I just purchased two larger travel crates so that I can put my cats in the travel crates so they will have plenty of room if they want to stretch out they can if they want to stand up they can if they want to lay all the way out they can and there will be room for a litter box in there Made from high quality Oxford coated 600 denier material. Durable powder coated steel frame sets up and folds down in seconds, which it did. Three mesh doors, which is nice. So we've got the top, the front, and the side. Um, two accessory pockets on the top and side. And then there's it's, it, the cover is removable and washable. So. That's nice. It did, it folds flat. Um, yeah, no tools required. This is the extra large size. So it's 36 by 24 by 27.
I need to go get the other one to see what I can do. Okay, so Kim is going to be riding with my husband, um, so I'm not going to be using her car seat in here anyway, so I need to, need to get her car seat out. <laughs> it's just too close to the, the way my um, roof slopes right here, it's hitting, so I need that, just that little bit of room. Might be a little taller than I expected them to be. Um, I mean, I could definitely do it, but getting them in and out every night to go into a hotel, I'm not sure how convenient it's going to be. Like, I like the the length and the width, but the height is just a little bit too much. So I, um, I guess I'm gonna have to keep looking and see if I can find something else that has the length and the width without, I don't know, maybe just a couple inches of height that I. I don't know. I, I might wind up with these. Now, I have had my cats in the car with me before, and I have uh, transported them across the country before, so I know that they are not going to eat in the car. I will still offer them food and water, but I don't anticipate that they're actually going to eat while we are in the car. I will make sure that they have food and water, um, but that's another really important thing about stopping at night and, and staying in a hotel is that I'm going to give them an opportunity, even though it is still gonna be a new environment for them, I'm gonna give them an opportunity to calm down and eat something before we get back on the road the next morning. So purchasing these travel carriers or crates in advance is another key thing. One, I'm, I'm going to make sure that um, they are the size that I'm looking for, that my cats and a litter box are going to fit in them com comfortably, as well as they're going to fit in my car comfortably. So having them here in advance, that's one reason. But the other reason is that I want my cats to get used to them. I don't want to pull them out the morning of and then freak out. And, you know, I want the scent on them to be our scent and I want my cats to get used to them. So that's another really key component to making sure that you're not just throwing all this new stuff on them at once. If we can gradually provide these things to them, wonderful. Now for my dog, Kim, who you can kind of see here. Yeah, she actually loves riding in the car. She doesn't have an issue with it. Some dogs might, and I get that. So we're gonna wanna do similar things for our dogs that I just talked about with our cats. If you're putting them in a crate, you wanna get it in ahead of time. You want to crate train them ahead of time and properly crate train them. Crate training does not mean putting your dog in a crate and closing the door and letting them cry it out. That is not crate training. Um, I have other videos on my channel about crate training. I will link them in the description below because I think that's too much to put into this one little video. Um, but properly, and using positive reinforcement to crate train your dog ahead of time is going to be really, really important if your dog is not already properly crate trained. Another thing really important, and my husband just did this last night and I am so thankful he did because it was on, it was actually on my to-do list and I've just been a little bit overwhelmed lately so I'm really glad he just swooped in and did it, is he planned out the route we're gonna take. We talked about the route we're gonna take, in fact, that's really important too because the initial route that we were going to take the shortest route put us like literally driving for a short period of time along the border of mexico and i was a little bit uncomfortable with that with our current um climate <laughs> right so we adjusted we added about an hour but it is what it is i'm much more comfortable with the route that we're taking now so make sure you have your route planned out in advance and he has already figured out where we're stopping each day 
and found hotels that are pet friendly in that area and multiple options of hotels in that area um, that are pet friendly. So as we're driving, we know where we're going. We know that there are backups if we need a backup. The only other thing that I would, I'm going to be adding to this and I recommend you do too, is that along the way, I am going to, now that we have our route planned out, I'm going to find information on emergency veterinary hospitals along the way just in case because I would rather have that information and not need it than need it and not have it. So I'm going to plan out and know where we're going to be able to find uh, veterinary care if we need it, emergency veterinary care if we need it, and have all of that like just on a file ready to go if we need it, hope we don't, and get it done and not have to think about it again. And earlier in the video, I talked about using different calming aids like Animalio's Calmamile and Box Rescue Remedy. Now, when we are actually packing up and, you know, we have boxes in the house and the house is just all a mess, which we have actually already started doing and the house is a little bit of a mess right now, which is makes, making me a little bit anxious. But, um, and especially on those days when we're loading the truck, it's going to be really important to keep your cats and dogs in a safe area and to keep them calm. So using supplements like um, Calmamile and Rescue Remedy are gonna help on those days as well, not just during travel days. So I hope these tips are gonna help you to plan your travel with your pets as well. Again, we're driving, we're not flying, so those would be different tips. If you're gonna be driving with your pets anytime soon, let me know, comment down below. Um, let me know what your situation is, why you're driving, where you're going, what kind of pets you have, how many pets you have. I would love to hear from you. If you want more content on the move, on packing, on loading, on unloading, on decorating when we get there, definitely check out the link tree in my description. In, in my link tree, you can find the link to my other channel here on YouTube, which is my home channel. It's called Home Sweet Farmhouse. You can also just type it in YouTube search bar and find the channel. It's Home Sweet Farmhouse. And on that channel, it, we do, I do all sorts of organizing, decorating, DIYs, Dollar Tree hauls, um, Amazon hauls. I'm actually getting ready to do a thread up haul. So I hope you join me over on that channel as well. We're going to be putting up a ton of content around the move and packing and unpacking and getting everything decorated. It's going to be so much fun. So I hope to see you there as well. And on this channel, I'm going to be getting as much content together as I can about my cats and my dog and everything related to the move because I think it can be really helpful for those of you who are planning a move with your pets as well. If you have specific questions about moving with your pets, let me know by posting in the comments below. And I hope the tips and tricks that I did mention in this video are going to be very helpful to you. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if so and look down there at that subscribe button. If it's red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray. That means you're subscribed to my channel. Once you do a bell appear, click the bell and select on notifications so YouTube can actually notify you every time I post a new video. I also really hope to see you over on Patreon. It's the first link in the description of this video. On Patreon, I post all new and exclusive content for pet parents. I really hope to see you over there because I really put a lot of work and effort into providing you with some of the best content exclusive. You're not even getting it here on YouTube or anywhere else. And it's going to really help you raise your pets more naturally, dogs and cats specifically, and provide additional tips for training the end behavior and, and enrichment as well for your dogs and cats. So I do hope to see you over there. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. I can't wait to see you in our next one. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.